Hi, so we're back in Onshape and we're going to continue on with making an assembly. So we've made our multiple parts and now we're going to go ahead and assemble them. So, so let's go ahead and click over on the bottom here to assembly one. That's the one that already is in your document when you first start. Otherwise we can create a new document or sorry, we could click the plus and create a new assembly if we needed to, but we don't need to. So, okay. So let's click on assembly here um, and we're going to go ahead up to insert on the top left. We're going to click insert and then we're going to just select all the parts that we need. So there's our top part. Okay. Uh, we need two legs, right? So we're going to go ahead and click one leg and click leg again and two legs. Then we're going to go ahead and put the circle peg in, click circle peg and then click square peg and click again to place and then click the green check to exit insert. Okay. I'm wheeling out. Click the wheel to drag it back in. Uh, right click and uh, drag to, to rotate. Okay, so um, so assembly is really simple. So the basic assembly is really simple and on shape. So let's go ahead. Um, mainly for, this, for the legs, we're just going to use this planar uh, mate. Notice that in the box for mating, we can just switch between types of mates. Okay, uh, in this case, we're only going to use planar and cylindrical for this for this particular uh, setup here. So, okay, so we have our planar uh, um, our planar uh, mate here. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Notice that if I kind of jiggle the mouse around, I'll get to the top plane of the um, of the um, peg toy leg. So I'm going to click on that uh, plane on the top. I'm going to right click and drag to, to rotate the model. And then notice that here down, notice right in the center of the plane down there, I'm going to get another one of those markings and see how it's going to match. So you see the, um, the blue axis there is going to be the opposite of the other blue axis. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Okay. And click the green check. Okay. Um, and just, just to demonstrate here, we're going to go ahead and click the X. We don't really need to. Okay, so, so now we notice here that if we click on the front view, we notice that we can uh, move that back and forth, but when we shake it, notice that now those two planes, the top plane of the leg and the bottom plane of the, of the top of the peg toy are now locked and they're now coplanar. Okay, so that's what the planar made is. It's basically making two planes coplanar. Okay, and it's very straightforward. All right, so now we're going to, it's going to take three mates to lock into place each leg. So there's our first mate. Okay, and we're kind of, kind of, kind of thinking it is locking at each of the axes. Okay, so any axis that you don't want to move, we have to lock in each of those axes. Okay, so we're going to do another planar mate, and this time it's going to be the exterior of the um, leg and the exterior surface, the, the side right surface of the top. And notice that they do, it's kind of glitchy here there where basically it kind of jumps up like this as you're doing it. Don't worry about that and just click the green check and it just moves right back down once you're finished. Okay, so at this point, if we go around to the left and we close the box there, notice that now it, it goes up and down, right? But notice that it can't move back and forth. And even when we move like this, Notice that it'll only move in one direction. So it kind of is now this surface and this surface are now coplanar. We do one last one here, the side of the leg to the side of the surface on the top and then click the green check and it jumps right back into place. Okay, so there is our first and notice I'm, I'm uh, wheeling in and out a lot and I'm right clicking and rotating quite a bit here. Okay. We're gonna go a little bit quicker now. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the top of the leg. Right click and drag to rotate. And then we're gonna click on, see our little our little kind of bullseye there. Uh, and we're gonna click on the surface of our, um, um, the bottom surface of our top. And we're gonna click the green check. And we're gonna stay in this time. We're gonna stay in the tool and we're gonna click the side. Notice I'm kind of getting right in the center there. I don't want to. I don't want to accidentally select one of the edges, so I'm even zooming in to make sure I get that uh, bullseye right on the center of the surface. Okay, and there was our second and green check, and then finally we're going to flush up the edges here. Uh, so we have our surface here on the, sur the side surface of the um, top, 
and the side surface of the leg right here and click and then do the green check and that is it for the leg so so there we have it so notice now when I come back around here I'm not in any tool that basically um, if I click on this leg and I try to move it the whole thing moves as one all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, and do the pegs so the peg the circular peg is going to be a cylindrical oh, there where is it there it is cylindrical mate Okay, and basically we're going to go ahead and click click on the top the cir in the circle of the of the cylinder. We're going to click, and then on the other circle of the hole, we're going to click, and we're going to click the green check. And now notice the peg will stay in the hole there. Okay. Okay, one thing that's worth mentioning here is notice that as I try to move this green peg, everything is kind of moving around on me. Uh, if you want to lock uh, lock in the um, the shape um, or the assembly as you're doing it, it's it's a little bit easier to do. You can just choose any of the parts. Usually, it's the main part. You can right click on it uh, and click left click on fix, and that will keep it stationary in space. And notice when I try to move it, it has that little fix icon right there. And that may, that makes moving things. You can it's more easy to see what is is still um, not completely locked into place. Okay, so our last peg here, we're actually going to use two mates, and but it's going to be a little bit different because we're going to have to um, kind of um, uh, move it around as we're doing it. So let's go back to our planar mate, and we're going to go ahead and grab the side of the peg there. Notice that I get my bullseye on the side of the peg. I'm going to right click and rotate to get to the side of the hole, and I'm going to zoom way in to get the side of the hole there. Uh, it looks like I got it. There we go. There it is, right in the middle. Notice that I don't want to get it down the edge there. I'm going to get it right in the middle of the um, surface. Okay, there's our first one, and click the green check, and close it. Notice that I can't get to the surface now, so I'm going to go ahead and um, go out of the tool, or out of the, the mate tool, and now I'm going to go ahead and get those surfaces. So I'm going to go back on the planar mate, and click the side of the peg right click and rotate and now I'm going to click the side of the hole and green check okay so um, that is it on our basic assembly okay using a planar mate and cylindrical mates uh, best of luck